When I first heard about the ghost rapes, um, as they were being referred to in Bolivia, uh, in the Manitoba colony in Bolivia, I, um, I was horrified, like everybody else, and I knew that, uh, that I wanted to write something about that. Faber is my uh, UK publisher and a fellow there named Walter Donahue, um, who works there. He is uh, friends with uh, Frances McDormand, and he had given her a copy of Women Talking, the book, and um, and that's when she, you know, started getting interested in in uh, optioning it, in you know, and making a movie. She's such a, an honest, fearless. Um, writer, filmmaker, and um, so she had, and she, you know, she, she could really, um, uh, she was sensitive to the, to the trauma uh, that the women in, in the book and, you know, in the movie experienced. Um, she wanted to um, mm, represent these women and, and tell the story, you know, in, in a way uh, that was, um, authentic uh, in a way that uh, honored these women and, and, and their faith. It was so fascinating watching the actors. Um, I mean, you know, it's just seeing how hard they work, this incredible cast. Um, some of, the, some of the, the shots, for instance, you know, were long, long takes, you know, where there was a lot of dialogue, of course, women talking, uh, in, in the loft. And, um, you know, and, and uh, they would do it and of course, this is how it works. But seeing it firsthand was was you know so so interesting. But you know, over and over and over and over, and um, the commitment to to this story and to and to Sarah, and you know, just the the, the work involved, um, you know, it was amazing. It was incredible. It was something that was just uh, so so exciting to see. It was, and, and again, I say, you know, it was it was just so moving thinking of. Basically, these characters that I created that you know come, come to life in, in a sense, and 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 they were so believable, and you know they were right there, and and uh, it was very moving.